welcome back in my channel today today we are on the day number 7 of our series csdm 4.0 and we are going to be discuss on the next domain that is build domain as the name indicate it is something where the different components will be built if i go as per the little bit more on the it part i can say we can refer this concept we can refer this domain to the devops compilation of the code making the packages deploy the packages on the different environments and then releasing it for the production so as per service now also we can link this particular domain with the devops perspective devops plugins you can activate in your personal instance or the in your official instance easily and then you can do the all pipelines and the deployments activity together but what it contains in the build domain specifically from the csdm perspective so let's come here so build domain says let me maximize it little bit more yeah it's clear to be read now yeah that's look more fine okay so the build domain says that it represent those table utilized to give visibility in the build it means these can be a logical it can be logical but it's not limited to the devops processes it is more than that so as i said i as i said in the beginning that it is not only for the devops it is more than that service now introduced this csdm build domain in latest release as part of the 4.4.0 why because in the last domain if you see that we have a design phase or the design domain where we are designing it and here we are building it and if you notice that in this domain they introduce a word or the component or the term called the sdlc software development life cycle it means it says that how the development and the deployment has been going in hand this is what we are talking here and also service now says that these tables are reference development details thus record in this are not directly related with the ipc it means the table you are going to be used for this sdlc they are not linking or not affecting or not impacting or not correlating with the ipc the components can be but these tables cannot be so these table represent the logical development like if i say okay let's build a hr system i can build it but in a hr system i have a different different other application onboarding offboarding documentation payroll kind of things we can say so these can be a component and and also if you see it says sdlc component it did not say that sdlc it's a component i'll show you one example which easily clarify this part to us now what service now refer here is this sdlc component is a new build domain and will be referenced by devops same thing also the purpose of sdlc component to present sorry to represent the part of a larger business application or the product into the individual components let's understand this part because if i say it is easy to read this document and can be say okay i understand this part but how we can more get the information on more get knowledge about this part let's say in my hr system as i say in my hr system i have a different different things let's i am a service provider and i'm providing the hr as a service in hr services i have a different different application onboarding it can be my business application so you say larger business application they are say broken down into the individual developed components to to just design a home screen i have a lot of development need to be do so now you can imagine that if i am building a payroll system in the payroll i have a multiple things salary slips debit credits taxation proof so these are the individual components which has been developed and when this has been built one by one togetherly it become the it come under the 
build domain. ServiceNow divided these components in the two types. One, application. Second, infra. If I say, as per the 4.0 white paper, this is the very, 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 very small domain from the all sides. But the work is very much in that part because in this domain, if you're if you working in this domain, you have to be interact with the multiple people. And also I noticed one thing that there's a no persona service now mentioned, sorry, they just mentioned the teams. They did not mention that what exact persona we are be referring. So if my experience says we can put as a persona of the DevOps architect, DevOps lead here, we can put it here as of now. Plus it is a place where we need the support from the different, different teams who are building or developing that particular components. So in the application means what this is application means like microservices or the API. If you build these things, if you develop these things, then I'm considering this as an application. But on the other part, if you're doing the database configuration or you're doing the, some security configuration in some of the servers, some of the IP, some of the firewall kind of things, then it become a infra for me. So it means either my team will do applications, not, not either, my team will do two type of component, SGLC component under the build, application and the infra. And these are the examples. These are not, not the limited. These are the just examples here. So a deployed instance of SGLC component type application would be an application service. A de deployed instance of SGLC component type infra would be a CI. So now you can get a bifurcation here. Let me show you one example here. If I go, yep. So you can see here, I pick up this screenshot from the, from the Google itself and it is coming completely from the ServiceNow community and the ServiceNow website. So I did not get it. I just pick up it for the reference for the understanding. So you can see it is a business capability is a sales under sales. We have a business application, online sales management. And under that we have a different components, customer manager, currency conversion, text calculation and online order management. It means these are belong to only one application. Maybe I have four or three or two or more application. Under that, I have these many. Now question can be come. Atul, can we have a sub category, sub part of the SGLC component? If I say material experience, yes, you can do. But I'm not sure that will service now 100% support on that part or not. Because in the customer manager, I can say it's a very big thing to be developed. Maybe customer manager, we have addition, deletion, updations, correction, activation, deactivation, documentation kind of thing. So if you want, you can add that as well. But as of now, what service now refer here from the company, from this perspective, only these things has been considered as a part of this particular part. So if I go in this example, like business capability, we have a business application, right? Under business application, if I want service now, so I can put service now, different, different components as well. Onboarding, offboarding. Onboarding is one of the component. Offboarding is one of the component. All and also, maybe it is also possible that one component, as Jersey component, can be related with the other as well. Because, like, if I say business application, business application, both has a common component called the onboarding, but the actual part, the actual code, can be different. So let's not mix these things with the other part. As of now, let's go with the service now perspective and say these type of the components we can put it here. This is what it includes in this particular domain as of now and hope you like this. Please, if you like, if you get some knowledge, please like this video, share with your friends and I'm coming with another day video on the next domain very soon. Thank you so much and have a nice day.